Take care. Well, hello there. Today I want to talk about this fly. This is the AK, the HKA Sunray, um, a modification of, of a very old and, uh, and and very very good pattern, the Sunray Shadow. Um, we're here in Iceland, and um, this morning I've just had some insane, insane fishing on this uh, this pattern. Um, it started out a bit slow, but but then somehow I changed to this fly, and and in the next couple of uh, couple of hours, one maybe one and a half hour, I got six nice nice salmon. So so I must say. Um, I really, really believed in this fly. This is a fly that is, is good in any place. It's good in Iceland, but it's good anywhere else. And this really, really works. It's very simple to tie, um, and um, and uh, it, it does not contain very many, uh, very many materials, but it really, really, really matters. It really, really looks absolutely astounding in the water. So if you are in, uh, in need of a, of a bit larger fly, uh, then this is the way to go. It's easy, it's simple, and here is how you tie. Hello there, everyone. Today I'm gonna tie a sunray shadow, but this is not gonna be the same sunray shadow as well. Um, it's gonna be a, a little more complicated, and uh, I would <laughs> like to say uh, it's gonna be better. This is the fly that I used uh, a lot of the time in in Iceland, and I must say um, I always loved the sunray, but this really, really is is a truly, truly amazing pattern. It's called the HKA sunray. Um, and it has uh, uh, s some additional features to to the Sunray Shadow, which I which I really really like. Okay, well, first of all, um, I, I'm out of uh, pro needles, which is the best tube needles, uh, because I sent the, I, I shipped the last one, uh, my own personal one, to to a customer. I hope the pro needles will get back in stock soon. Um, so this is a future fly needle. It works as well, but it's not as good as the pro one. Okay. So, first of all, I take a piece of, uh, of tubing here, of clear tubing, and then I simply just, uh, I've melted the end of this uh, using, uh, I couldn't find a lighter since I quit smoking, so I, <laughs> I was down to using matches. How I do that is I simply take the flame here, and then I hold the tubing up to the flame, not into the flame, but up to the flame like so, and then the, the tube will simply bend backwards a bit. and. Uh, this gives me a nice end point, and, uh, and this this kind of color here gives me ensures that my my US tubing will stay will stay where it is, because on this fly I'm gonna use um, a future fly. Um, this is a future fly tubing, and I'm gonna use a future fly. Uh, Ten millimeter, you can use six millimeter or, or thirteen or or even larger uh, if you want. But I like the ten millimeter for this, and as you can see now, this stays here, and and this won't won't budge. This won't move anywhere. The trick to this fly is is actually the head, and uh, because this is going to have a head with some eyes on it, and that's basically the the new thing about this. Let me see, that looks about correct, like so. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, some tying thread, and then I'm going to apply it a bit in front of the uh, the US tube, like so because I want to be able to make my head uh, with, with the eyes not on the US tube but on the thinner tube here because that will give, give the head a better look and uh, it, will, it will make the fly swim, swim better like so and basically, well, uh, the sun ray here is, is not that difficult I'm gonna use some marble fox first in, uh, in white and marble fox is nice for this because it's fairly soft but still, uh, still fairly long and uh, and it works great both in 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 slower but but still works very very great in uh, in uh, in in fast moving currents. Uh, this was also the fly I used on on Iceland as you <laughs> saw in the introduction to this video. I do not want too much of this because uh, this fly is not meant to be to be uh, very big and bulgy. And uh, particularly, I want uh, some of these uh, these longer hairs. Uh, out in the front. So what I'm basically doing is is pulling out some of this woolly part that is not as long here on the front of on the back of the fly like so, and then I have a small nice white wing here. I'm gonna tie this down. So this is not the biggest of uh, of the sun rays. This is gonna be approximately seven centimeters, something like that, like that. So you see, I've tied my tied down my wing here, my white one, 
Um, the reason I use a, a US tube is, is to give this a bit of weight, so this fly will fish the second it hits the water, and, uh, and that's something to me is, is something I really, really like. So. Oh, I forgot something. Damn it. I have the wing now, so so in order to make sure that the, the US tube will not move, you have to make a bit of tying thread all the way up to there, so that it stuck, it sticks there, like so. Now that's okay, that, that, that's not gonna be any problem. Like so. But you need to have a bit of, of a bit to have to to have a start a bit out on the tube in order to get your head in a, a when, when you're when you're making the glue head to to have, give that the right size. So like so. And then I'm gonna tie down my marble fox here. Marble fox is nice, but if you have tanuki or yeah, of course the the original one is made from from goat. That works uh, great as well. But I, I really really like this this marble fox uh, for 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 this fly. Next up is the next wing, and the next wing is, is of course going to be black. You can do this in a whole lot of different colors. And I think I'm going to do a, another variation of uh, of this same theme, but tied a bit differently. Um, also, and I'm going to do that in in yellow. Yellow is, is a, yellow and black is really, really nice. Um, but, uh, but the black and white here is... Uh, is kind of like the classic one, and I've been fishing a lot with this, and uh, uh, also for sea trouts and stuff like that in Denmark. And, and this fly really, really just produces and produces and produces. It's a very, very great pattern, one of my all-time favorites. Also because it's so, <laughs> it's so goddamn easy to tie, and uh, and so uh, so inexpensive, inexpensive to to make. And that's uh, that's that's two nice features, I think. So fairly easy. I just add the black. Uh, the black marble fox here. And the black, uh, the black one. The black needs to be a bit longer than the white. Not long, not much, but but a bit. Like so, you can see. There are my tips. Like that. Tying down everything there. Good. So far, so good. Then I'm gonna add some flesh, and uh, for for this fly, I like uh, I like crystal flesh. It's it's a nice a nice looking flesh in the water. It's easy to use, and uh, and uh, well, um, <laughs> I have a lot of salmon and sea trout flies with with this stuff, and 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 it really really works. It really works great. It's nice and reliable, and uh, and it has a, a nice effect in the water as well. Just gonna take four strands, something like that. Side down, so it's gonna be on top of the wing here, but spread a bit out. So it's gonna be around the wing as well. Four strands is, is sufficient. You don't need that much much flesh. Of course, if you're fishing very very big flies and very rough water and and dark colored water as well, you can add more if if you like. But uh, I like the four strands. Kind of cut these off so they're not completely uniform in length, like so. And then I'm gonna add another thing that is uh, new to this fly. I'm gonna add some instead of jungle cock and stuff like that. I'm gonna add some sides, a uh, sideline to this. And uh, uh, doing that, I'm gonna use a grizzly feather, a grizzly saddle feather. And uh, and um, I have these in uh, in small quantities in in the shop, so you, you don't have to buy a whole saddle because a saddle is is fairly expensive. Also, you can just uh, you can just click on uh, in the corners here on on the video, so you and and then you will get to. to to a complete list of, uh, of the materials used here. So basically, I take one of these saddle feathers, and then I and then I tie it, tie it so it's going to be it's going to be parallel to the wing. It's going to make uh, some great contrast and looks like the sideline on on this small on a, on a small fish, which basically the sun ray uh, imitates, like so. And that really, really stands out and looks so, so great in the water and adds some, some unique movement to the fly as well. I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. So basically use two feathers. M many of these saddle feathers are so long that you can, uh, you can, easily, uh, you can easily use one of these feathers for, for uh, numerous flies. Just get one here. That was the one I was using, this one. 
as you can see here this this feather is fairly long so you can you can you can actually use the same feather for for numerous flies if you cut them the right way like that well that all looks good and I'm gonna take my scalpel as I, if I can locate it here it was and then I'm gonna cut off all this stuff here simply I place my scalpel just in front of all the materials and then I press down because then the scalpel will cut off all the materials very very close to and I will get a very neat uh, perfect head here better than uh, if I did it with uh, with my scissors like so you can uh, these f the, 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 the saddle feather can have a bit fibers hanging around you can cut the, 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 the last of those off like so So, just gonna. So there you have it. So far, so good. Good. Then I'm gonna make a whip finish like that. And uh, as you can see now, the head is is fairly aligned with the. Uh, with the the thickness of uh, of the tube here, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the eyes, and uh, and in order to finish this fly, I'm going to use some buck bond, and uh, some uh, some that is a UV glue, and then some some fluorescent eyes. Um, these adds a lot a lot of coolness to uh, to to this pattern. So uh, again. Um, the 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 old <laughs> the old school sunray. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. It's a very good fly, but you know, since I've tried this and uh, and and landed so many salmon uh, and sea trout on this, it's it's you know it's it's simply just hard to go back because, uh, well, this really really works. So there is no need to to jinx that in any way. I simply just add a small amount of glue. I take my eye and place it just in front of. Uh, just in front of the uh, the US tube as you can see there so it's just in front of the US tube and then I seal it with my um, with my light and then I do exactly the same thing on the other side and because uh, because we've tied on the on the small um, on the small plastic tube and not on the on the US tube this fly will uh, will actually the head of this will be will be will be better in size like that secure it with the the glue and then simply I form the rest of the head here making sure I get some glue covered over the eyes in order to make this head perfect and as strong as possible like so bringing that on the same side on the other side here Because of the UV glue, you can apply a bit of it at a time, and and, uh, and that way you can simply you can simply uh, you can you can uh, you can make the perfect uh, the perfect head because you simply only apply a bit of glue at a time, and that way you can you can shape the head very easily and shape it completely like you want it to, like that. And there you have it, the HKA Sunray, in a in in a very easy addition, and uh, because of the US tube, this really works. You can of course apply a bit of um, a bit of uh, uh, a bit of what's it called a bit of uh, a bit of uh, something for for the hook uh, to 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 stay onto. But what I really like is is I like these. Uh, I like something that's called oh here they are. I like something that's called swing tubes. I have those as well, and basically what they are is is a small piece of uh, a small piece of uh, of plastic, which the hook fits into with n not an all, like so, and uh, and then this simply goes behind here, 
and uh, and it pulls the, the hook a bit further down and really 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 uh, but but the hook is still hanging loose but the the, the nut is protected so your hook is is always facing the right way and um, and uh, and your fly gets a lot of more free movement simply because uh, because the hook is is dangling free and um, and you won't get uh, some some nasty effects while while the, the the hook has has hooked the salmon and stuff like that so so basically that is a truly truly awesome way to go and um, I want to point out that on uh, on Iceland I fished with these. These are the uh, uh, the the narrow eyed triple hooks from from owner. And I must say I was completely baffled by how how good, how insanely good these uh, these hooks uh, these hooks were. Um, I landed fifty salmon and I lost eight. And Soren, my my buddy, he landed fifty one and he lost six. And that is an amazing, amazing amount of of, of fish uh, due to due and and I, I I think that these hooks were were a very large part of that success. We fished mainly in size 12 and size 10, and the hooks simply you know if if the salmon touched the touched the fly they were they were <laughs> they were they were stuck there. So so really really good uh, really really good hooks as well. Well basically that was it. Uh, thank you for for tuning in.